Hello YouTube and welcome to another virtualization tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to actually upgrade Proxmox from version 7 to version 8. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know Proxmox has recently released a new version of its uh, Proxmox virtual environment. So this is the official web page from Proxmox. So here, as you can see, version 8 is based on Debian 12, actually. And the code name is Bookworm, okay? So it has some many new features that we're gonna cover later, okay? But the most important thing here is that the process of upgrading the latest Proxmox virtual environment, okay? So we're gonna see how you can do that live, okay? So first thing, I have to notice here that you have actually a wiki page from Proxmox. So this is upgrade from seven to eight wiki page. So there are valuable information here that you must take a look at it before actually upgrading your server to version eight, okay? But the most important thing here is that you must at, at least have the version 7.4-15 in order to perform the upgrade. And of course, at least 5 gigabytes of free disk space, okay? But here I'm going to show you that live. So let's move on to my server here, actually. Here we go. So this is my Proxmox. So as you can see, I'm running version 7.4-15, okay? And I have actually plenty of uh, free disk space in order to perform the upgrade, okay? So the first thing that you must actually do is actually to ensure that your system is up to date. And uh, in order to uh, actually verify that, we must execute two commands. Let me show you here. So those two commands are upgate, update, and upgate, upgrade. Okay, so I might execute first of all these two commands to ensure that your system is up to date. So let's execute them and see what we get. So me, I already actually updated my system, so nothing to be installed, no new packages. Okay, so after that, we are ready to begin the upgrade process, okay? But before that, we must execute a script that actually will check if our system is ready to be upgraded to version 8, okay? So you can take of it as a checklist script. So the command is as follows, okay? So pve 728 full so this is actually a checklist script so it's checking for package update it's checking for package versions also okay <clears throat> and a lot of parameters that will be actually uh, executed but here you can see that they have three warnings and one failure okay so here, as you can see, I have a failure related to here to resolved node IP address. Okay, so we can fix that if we go to the network and check actually where this address has been configured. Okay. So actually it's under the host here. So I changed actually my IP address, but I didn't update the host file. So let's update it here. Here we go and save it. So let's return back to my uh, shell and run once again the chicken script. Okay. So as you can see now, I don't have any failure, so I'm ready to go in order to proceed with the upgrade. So you must execute actually the script in order to ensure that you will not have any problem, okay? So let's move on to the upgrade process. 
So the first thing that actually we must do is to update the PVE repositories. Okay, so we'll be using this command here. So here it will actually change the Bullseye uh, repository. This is all the name for our distro, and this is the Bookworm, which is the new code name for our repositories. Okay, here we go. We have changed it. Okay, so let's verify that in the file. So I will read the file located in the slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list. Okay. So here you go. You can see that the bookmark actually uh, code name has been added. Okay, so I can proceed with update now. So I will execute the command apt update. update here we go so here is giving me that 590 packages can be upgraded okay so now I can just upgrade the whole system with this command up distribution upgrade okay here we go so I will answer yes here So this is the information page, so I can just quit. Here we go, so you can see now the install process has begun. Here we go, restart services during package upgrade. So I will, without asking, so I will just hit yes. Okay, now, so as you can see, the upgrade process has finished. So let's verify that. So you can see now the PVE version is 8, okay? So if I check uh, the OS version, so now as you can see it's based on Debian 11 or actually 12 with the code name Bookworm. But here I guess we should better log on or log off in order to update here the GUI. So let's do that. So I'm going to log out. Here we go and log in once again. Here we go. So now you can see that the virtual environment is actually now on version 8. Okay. And we still have all our virtual machine that are running actually. Okay. So that was just a brief video to show you how you can easily upgrade your Proxmox from version 7 to version 8. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.